welcome to our farm in Aberdeenshire. I'm going to take you on a tour and show you where we make all the Mackey's ice cream. We're starting today on top of the, the hill at Westerdon, and behind me you can see our three wind turbines. Each of these wind turbines is about 76 metres tall, and on a nice breezy day like today, they're producing enough power to supply the entire ice cream dairy and the farms. We've got about 200 Jersey cows, which are the ones on the right, and 200 Holstein cows, the black and white ones on the left. Two totally different breeds. The Jerseys are very good for ice cream because they'll give us less milk than a Holstein cow, but it's much creamier milk. So we get 6% butterfat from Jersey milk, but only 4% butterfat from uh, Holstein milk. They're eating their lunch at the moment. You've got uh, a mixture of grass silage there, plus wheat and barley that have grown in the farm. And then when they want to be milked, then they just wander in by themselves into our robotic milking machines that we'll see in a minute. So this is one of our robotic milking machines. This cow's just come in hoping to be milked. Um, it's fully automatic, so when the cow wanders in, she's got a tag around her neck, so the machine knows which cow it is, knows when she was last milked, and knows whether she needs to be milked again. The cow's come in by herself. The machine's managed to attach the milking units. It's now started to milk her. It'll take about five minutes, and then it'll realize that there's no milk left, and one by one, it'll stop milking each of the cow's quarters. With this system, 24 hours a day, they just decide when they want to be milked, come in as and when they feel like it, and get some nice cake when they're there. got a, a wall of fame for long-serving employees, so anyone who's been here for 20 years or more is rewarded with a plaque in the wall. Jim Wallace and his wife Aileen, they're both still working full-time. They've been here since 1961, so next year between the two of them they'll have managed 100 years service to the company. Now we thought that was a, a record, which is quite impressive, until Dad of course pointed out that he's been here since 1958, so I guess we're going to have to find a spot for him. So we've got four main ingredients for our ice cream. That's cream, milk, sugar, and skimmel powder. So I'll just show you where all the, the ingredients are kept up here. First of all, we've got our cream storage tanks. So each one of these stores about 3,000 litres of cream. So that's enough cream for today. And then this tank here, the big tank, is our milk storage tank. So this is our own milk. So the cows you saw being milked on the other side of the road. Our, the milk from there is pumped under, underground into this tank every day. So that's our own fresh milk stored in there. Then from there, we come up here, and we've got sugar and skim milk powder. The sugar and skim milk powder we buy in tonne bags, so that's actually at the bottom of this big tube. So we're transporting it through the tubes into the hoppers here. Now, it looks like a lot of sugar, but this hopper here will make enough ice cream for 5,000 litres. So in each tub, there's just a small amount of sugar. Okay. So this is our nerve center here. So we've got a, a computer which uh, Doreen here is operating. Now Doreen's made all her ice cream for the last 25 years, so she knows quite a lot about it. The computer pretty much controls all the ingredients coming in and, and where they go within the, the mixed plant. So it's monitoring the milk coming in, the, the cream coming in, the sugar and the skimmel powder, make sure we've got the right amounts, then make sure that it's pasteurized and homogenized, and then cool down again before it goes to our aging vats. It's all done by the PC here. Okay, thanks, Doreen. So these here are our ageing vats. We've got um, four tanks to here. Each one's 10,000 litres of ice cream. The mix has come from our mix plant upstairs into one of these tanks, and we store it here for 24 hours. It's about three degrees, slowly stirred. And by doing that, that just helps the texture and the smoothness of the product. And tomorrow morning, it'll be frozen into ice cream. All ice cream's got some air in it. If you know air, then it's going to be like an ice cube and, and it's unedible. So we inject some air as we freeze it down. So the basic process is, mix comes in at plus five degrees with no air, and comes out the other end, minus four degrees with some air in it, ready for the filler. So this is our ice cream filler here. Um, we've got two machines like this. Each one can fill about 3,000 litres an hour. It's done fairly automatically. We need to place the tubs in here at this end, and then as a sucker comes up and pulls two tubs down each time, the tubs, empty tubs, work their way along. The filling head here 
deposits a liter into the tub, then moves along, the lid to the starter just on top of the tub, and then further along you'll see a pushing head pushes the lid down firmly so it's closed. From there it comes off the end and works its way towards the blast freezer. So we're now near the end of our production line. We've got the product coming out of the blast freezer. We just put them into cases of six, put a label on the case, fill the pallet into the cold store, and all going well, this product will be with our customers by tomorrow. Well, thanks for visiting us at Westerton. I hope you've enjoyed our tour, and all I can say now is please keep enjoying our ice cream. Maggie's are very well known for making ice cream, but not everyone knows we also make ice cubes. We do about two million bags of these ice cubes every year, made with our own spring water off the hill, and also with electricity from our wind turbines, so it's all renewable electricity. Thank you. Until recently, all our packaging was made in Sweden, transported all the way across to Westerton. To reduce our carbon footprint, we've recently installed two packaging machines. So we can now produce our own packaging here. The machines are taking plastic pellets in this form here, a label like this, combine the two together in a mold, and produce the finished Maggie's one liter tub, just like this.